Did you know that some of the biggest hits in gaming didn't come from Billion Dollar Studios, but from indie developers working in their bedrooms, coffee shops, or wherever they could? I'm talking about games that were built on passion, a shoestring budget, and a bit of a dream, and then went to rake in millions of dollars. If you've ever wondered what makes an indie game a massive success, stay tuned because today I'm breaking down five indie games that defied all odds and went on to make millions. And more importantly, I'm going to show you what you as an indie game developer can learn from each one that allow you to follow in their footsteps. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to level up your game dev skills and make your own mark. First up is a game that redefined the farm sim genre, Stardew Valley. Developed by Eric Baroni, this game wasn't just a commercial success, it became a cult classic. And guess what? Eric built this game solo over four years. Stardew Valley has made millions, but the real reason for its success isn't its cute graphics or catchy music. It's because Eric poured his heart and soul into creating a world with depth and emotional connection. Players could feel that dedication. For aspiring devs, the lesson is simple. If you want players to stay engaged in your game, give them a world they'll want to keep coming back to. Next. Let's talk about Hollow Knight. This action adventure game by Team Cherry didn't have a massive budget, but didn't need to. It's challenging, polished, and addictively fun with tight gameplay mechanics that allow players to feel every hit and jump. Team Cherry spends a lot of time perfecting the combat mechanics, the pacing, and the overall game flow. And it paid off. The lesson here, focus on gameplay first. Fancy graphics are great, but if your core gameplay isn't rock solid, players won't stick around. You've probably heard of Among Us. This game sat under the radar for over two years before it exploded into a massive hit. What changed? Community and content creators. When streamers started to play during the pandemic, the game's popularity skyrocketed. Among Us shows us the power of community and social proof. So, if you're working on a game, think of ways to create something shareable that YouTubers and streamers might want to play. Sometimes it only takes one key community to blow up your game. Now, let's switch gears to one of the simplest games on this list, Flappy Bird. Developed by Don Nguyen, it's an ultra simple game that generated massive profit from ads in just a few short months before he pulled it from the app store. The game's just one more try factor made it wildly addictive. What can you learn from it? Simplicity sells. Don't get too caught up in making things complicated. If your game has a satisfying loop, it'll keep players coming back for more. Last but not least, Monument Valley. This puzzle game by Us2 Games is known for its breathtaking graphics and mind-bending puzzles. It's the type of game that feels like a piece of art and it became a premium hit on the App Store. Monument Valley shows that investing in aesthetic and a unique design style can make your game stand out. When players feel they're stepping into a work of art, they're more willing to pay for it. There you have it, five indie games that made millions and the lessons we can take away from each one. Remember, it's not about having a massive budget. It's about focusing on what makes games fun and engaging. If you're building something and need guidance on how to turn your passion into a full-time gig, feel free to join my private indie game dev community by clicking on the link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.